independent bookstores are wonderful additions to any town, providing a place where readers can find insight, community, and other people who just love to read. Plumfield Books in Ada was recently recognized by USA Today as one of the best. It also just celebrated a one-year anniversary. Amy Squires is the owner here to tell us more about all of the fun things happening at Plumfield. First of all, Amy, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, congratulations on a year, getting yeah. a mention in USA Today. Yes. Uh, and talk about, you know, why you decided to, to open Plumfield. Yeah. Well, I mean, every neighborhood needs a bookstore, for one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and Ada was just screaming for a bookstore. Yeah. Um, I loved Reed, but the the thing that really drove it home was my kids and their need for Spanish books because they are Spanish immersion. Um, and just the offerings around town are very slim. You pretty much have to buy them online, take a look at them, see if they're the right reading level. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. So I knew that when I opened a bookstore, it had to have a good Spanish section. I, I love that. I love that so much. And and so, I, and obviously there are many, many schools in That's the area right. that have these kinds of programs mm -hmm. and just that accessibility and to be mm -hmm. able to have, I, I love a bookstore because you can get advice. That's right. You know, you get recommendations. Mm -hmm. You can find things you're looking for. Talk about how you're engaging with the community. Well, we do multiple things. Um, one, obviously, is just I love it when the kids come in the store or the adults come in the store or grandparents and they ask, what should I get the, you know, my grandson or my daughter? They don't like to read or they do like to read but want something different. Um, so, you know, just that engagement of in the store. We have all kinds of book clubs. So that's fun because there's yeah. a lot of people who are, like, are new to the area. So they want to new, meet new people, they love to talk about books, want to try new genres. Um, and then we do community collaborations as well. So we work with um, No Nuts, or we're going to be working with Verity Ballet. So it's great to just be able to work with Ada and all the businesses in Ada. That's what they want to do is they want to work with you. So Absolutely. And, and you know, you brought books, but you also brought wine. Yes. So, so <laughs> let's talk about that component because you have many yeah. different kinds of book clubs. Yeah, yeah. Um, I personally love wine. Whenever I'm reading a book, that's, I mean, obviously not in the morning. <laughs> but right. it's either a cup of coffee in the morning or, or wine in the evening. Pick your um, so I knew when I w opened the bookstore I wanted to do wine and, I mean, what you drink when you're reading can have an effect. Um, so, yeah, I, I have books paired with wine to kind of give that feeling, and we actually have a book and bottle wine club. Um, it's very popular. We've had to cap it because it's so popular. Oh, wow. But we pair a wine with the book, and then you know you get to sample that wine. And then we also have one for the future book club too. So we get to sample two different wines, discuss two different books. It's a lot of fun. I love that. And, you, mm -hmm. and for the beer, let's not leave out the beer lovers because we got no, one for them too. Right. <laughs> yeah, we have another book club. Uh, we collaborated with Brewery Nix here in Grand Rapids. It's a gluten-free, women-owned brewery, which is really fun. And so um, you can get your beer craze that way too. And because we're both women-owned businesses, we try to highlight women authors or strong women characters. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. and, and let's not leave out the kids too, because you yeah. have a really great kids session and mm -hmm. you really want to make it accessible for them and fun for them. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that. Yeah. So we try to do um, story times. And my, my dream is to bring in community members that have special talents, whether it's music related or dance or um, an emotional component and have them interact with the children with that. So we hope to get that going soon because we've had a lot of people like, can I do it? Can I do it? Yeah. And then we have our stuffy sleepover, which is coming up really soon. Okay. And this is just so fun. I mean, myself and my fellow booksellers just giggle the whole time when we're doing it. So the stuffed animals okay. come over and spend the night. Not the children. Don't bring your children. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring the kids. Just bring the animals. Yeah. Oh. And we'll do a craft together when they drop them off. And then um, this time we're going to be going to Verity Ballet. So they'll do a ballet lesson with the fellow dancers. Oh. And um, then they do crazy shenanigans. We tend to walk them around downtown Ada, go to the park. Um, if it's snowing, maybe we'll go for a sled ride. Sure. They go on book cart rides and do story time and get into some mischief. Oh. And then we'll have a story time when they come pick them up. Okay, perfect. So mm -hmm. it was such a great way to encourage reading yes. and the love of books uh -huh. at a young age because right. then it just continues, That's right? right. Mm -hmm. um, this mm -hmm. sounds like something they want to do. What mm -hmm. do they need to do? They can either sign up in the store mm -hmm. or online. Okay. We make it easy. You just kind of click on the book that you want okay. and RSVP. Okay. Uh, for our book and bottle, it is popular. So we have sure. 
we say please RSVP if you want to make sure you get in. Um, the other ones are still building momentum, so you can just show up if you need to. Yeah. <laughs> and the other cool thing about a local bookstore is bringing in local authors, because mm -hmm. it's so much fun to hear mm -hmm. their process, their creativity, mm -hmm. um, and, and you do that often. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our, we're, this is the first time we're going to be doing this. It's called the Writers Expo. Okay. Um, in the past, we've had authors come in just, you know, in the evening, um, sometimes during the week, sometimes on the weekend, and engage with the neighborhood. Um, but this time, we're bringing in about six to eight local authors. Um, some are self-published, some are traditionally published, and they'll do a reading. They'll be kind of set up where it's a meet and greet. You can go and talk to them and see what their process is. But we have poets and we have um, just hobby writers and then we have yeah. regular sh short essayists. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Runs the gamut. Mm -hmm. I love that yeah. so much. So you want to get to Plumfield Books, you want to learn more, you can head to plumfieldbooks.com, find them on Instagram, and they're at 574 Ada Drive Southeast. We'll be right back.